see that line looks good unless you want to cut look for like a special evening and then it really better be special and I would say you also need to be younger I, I don't think that cut look looks good when you're older so I just kind of blend it all it did was take some of that color away on the edges now wipe your hands off and then you can use if you want to if you felt like you lost too much I didn't but you can just kind of blend that out again just kind of blend it out what, what am I doing? I'm trying to make it look like the smoky eye, where it just kind of fades out. That You've got the colors, you've got the gradient, but it fades. And it's like, where exactly does it stop? Nobody knows. By the way, the concealers that I like the best, I showed you the Tarte Shape Tape, but my favorites uh, clearly is Match Perfection by Rimmel and Age Rewind by Maybelline. These are my favorites. And the um, Match Perfection is in Fair Light, which is color 230. And the, the Age Rewind is in Light Pale. And I really do like this one because it does have a little sponge applicator and everything. I wonder how clean that is, but I don't think I've ever gotten like a bacterial infection from using it, so I think it's fine. But um, anyway, I feel like it's easier for application, but then I still use my fingers to pat it out and stuff. So, all right, so now I'm going to use a smudger brush. Um, Sigma calls this a short shader, and it is an E20, can't live without it, and I usually choose what is the color that I want to match in here to put underneath or a whole new color, but I'm going to use this. Um, you know what? I'm going to do something unusual. I don't always do this. I'm going to use a, a pencil brush, which is an E30. I'm not a Sigma affiliate, by the way, if you're wondering. I just give you these numbers so that you know you don't necessarily need all the brushes. Just pick the ones that you're going to use the most. I rarely do this, but I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. It's like a gold caramely color. Tap it off really good. And I'm going to go, this goes a little wider than the shader will. Just a little wider just to have something, a gradient. So see how that's kind of like a softer color, but when I put the the um, chocolate brown, or I may even go with the dark brown, uh, it will give a, a bit of a gradient, just make it a little more interesting. And if you wanted to, I guess you could put a little bit here on the, not out here, but just right in front of it to kind of grab that color on the upper lid as well, just a little bit. Not in the outer area, the outer area is for um, the darker colors. Alright, so now I am going to use the short shader and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to go in this liner color, which is a dark, dark brown. But it is, after all, a liner, and we're lining. And I'm going to go, I'm going to stay very, very close to the lashes. So watch how I do this. And I just drag it both ways. You may even want to flip it. Okay, so see, I feel like that does a good job of showing you with the darker color but having the gradient under. It's just kind of a neat effect. Do you see the lighter and then the lighter with the darker? You don't got to do this. Some people are like, I don't have all that kind of time. Me either. But, because church is fixing to start on TV. Some of you are shut-ins, and I understand that. Some of you have told me that you have depression and um, or a medical issue of some kind. Um, mental or medical, it doesn't matter. A lot of mental stuff is because of chemical imbalances, which is medical. So, um, there's several different kinds of depression, so we're not going to get into that. But, uh, either way, it's very real, and sometimes people cannot break out of it without some help. And so that's where medications are good. I'm going to drag this through the brow, by the way. Because they get you in a place where you can um, get the help you need. Uh, and by that I mean counseling. That's why medications help you get to a mental place to do the counseling to see what's causing the depression. And um, Sometimes it is the chemical imbalance itself, and in that case, you may have to take regular ongoing medication. Other times, it may just be that you're in a situational or seasonal depression, and you just need um, some counseling to kind of pull through that era. And in that time period, you may need some medication, and then they wean you off. So, all right, so do you see how I just helped build this brow a little bit? This is what my brow naturally looks like. It doesn't have much hairs right now, and not much shape. And I could use... An, a ton of different ways to do this with gel, with <clears throat> crayon. Um, but sometimes I just use the dark color in my palette and a short shader 
or you can use a liner brush. And I just kind of um, reinforce, first of all, the under side to keep your natural brow. And I go right up over the iris to this corner and come down. And then I just kind of build out to that little peak that I went to to kind of build the shape on the upper end. I rarely get this perfect and I have a real hard time keeping them even. Then with what's left over, which usually isn't much, I'll come through the front of the brow. You don't want the front of the brow too dark. And I just kind of go straight up and down. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And just kind of build that back. This one's naturally lower, so I always have to come back and adjust it. It just never fails. And then just kind of wispy do it at the end. And that's just how I use it. Now they have a black in here. Here's what you can do with black. Let's go back to that pencil brush. Kind of dab off the caramel color. I'm going to do just a little bit of black, and I want to show you what black does when you add black. That's why almost every palette has a black. Did you know? The outer V. Just go right, right where the lash would go up, where a liner would go up, and come down like that. Right? And then go outer V. Just, you are literally making a V. And what this does, just come up a little and blend into, look at the drama that adds. Just a little bit of drama or depth. And so that's great for evening wear especially. Just, just makes a little more depth. And I'm going to have to blend that out a little. And you can fill in the V. Like once you make it, then... You know, you've got one going up and one coming down, and you can go straight through and make like an almost an arrow. And then I always drag it through once just to kind of make that black blend into the brown. But it just gives you a little bit more dramatic look. You don't need much black either. Any black is so pigmented, it goes a long way. So again, just like you're coming down on a lash, like that. It's almost like if you went up a liner, come down, and then go out through there. And make yourself a little bee. Some people do this really, really fast. I don't like to. I can't even make myself speed up. I don't want to. I feel like that's not being very precise. Maybe it's because they're makeup artists and they can do it faster. See, I drug that through once. And now I'm going to fill it in right where it is on the outer. Just kind of make it a little more blended looking. You can come up just a little. Don't overdo it, though, because like I said, black goes a long, long way. See, and if you wanted to, once you do that, <clears throat> I'm going to go to my darker blender brush. The other one, if you notice, was light. And I do that on purpose. I use this one for dark. And um, just kind of running that a little bit. It's a little still unfinished looking. There. It just gives a little more of a shadow. That's all it is. So in conclusion, I would say, this is a phenomenal palette. Why didn't I start using it more? It's going in top drawer. This is top drawer. Love it. Now, what else did I need? Oh, I forgot to use the Kylie. Oh, well. I'm going to use a Cheekathon. Let's just do it. And it comes with a great brush. So what do you do with this Cheekathon? I love Dallas and I love Dandelion together. Coralista and Hulu go together. These are warmer, these are cooler. And if you want a shimmer, Rocketeur. So you could not have a better blend of colors for a cheek palette. The problem is I don't think this is available anymore. So I'm literally going to take this, swirl it around once, tap it with my finger, and make myself a line like that. See how I made the line? Now I'm going long ways with it and blend it out. All it does is put the color on either side of that line. And I'm kind of staying back here. Going up the side of the face, rounding out. Right at the hairline, rounding out. When I round out, I'm at the temples. Down. And what that does is it brings color to the outer area. And therefore, what's in the middle shines more. And since we have so much white on today. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm going to make my line. Just make it. That's where... I sink in at, and now I did it that way. Now I'm going to turn the brush this way and go on either side of it by just brushing over where I just was. And all that does is give a blended appearance. That's all. So, 
I'm also going to go under my nose and I'm going to breathe out so I don't suck in powder. Watch. What? That causes a shadow under my nose. I have a large nose. So I like to put a shadow under there. What else? Now here you can use Hula. Tap it off. And go on from the chin down. And I'm going to use the wide to go back and forth. And what this does, again, is causes a shadow underneath so that, and I'm going to do it right over here and down, and right over here and down. Always blend it down real good, real good. You don't want lines there. And I'm going to come up just a little bit on the end of mine just because I have a very bulbous chin. And see, it just gives a shadow underneath so that you don't see so much fatty. <laughs> now, let's say you don't have a blush brush because I have one right there, but let's just say you, this is all you got. Be sure and dust off because some of the powder will have gotten crossed over. So now I'm going to take dandelion and just one brush down, one brush down. And I'm going to come on this top area of where I just was, right there, and then swirl. And then back up and swirl. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a pink in with that brown. Swirl, back up, swirl, smile so that you keep it out of this area. You want it back here. There. And I might also be on the front part of where I did, so it'll be kind of pinky and then brown. You can do the same thing here and on the chin. I would say just on the bulbous part. Again, come down, smile, back up. And stay on the upper part. Smile, up. There. It's pretty. Now see, I have these little things. I have outer dimples. So, I sometimes come a little lower to kind of even that out. Depends on your face shape. You have to decide what you want to do. But no kidding. I know why I quit using this because I fell in love with it and I wanted to save it. But you know what? I just need to use it. Right? Now if I wanted to do highlighter, you could have used the Rockateur. Also, these colors on this, um, this is the Hourglass Ambient. Um, they're kind of shimmery. So I'm going to go with this pinky one over here. Whoa. A chunk of that came out. 